it's finally time to start learning traits and traits are really uh, particu particular to Rust. They are, uh, I always like to describe them simply as uh, powers. So they are like, uh, another way to, uh, to describe them is uh, groups of, uh, of functions that belong together. And uh, we've seen uh, we've seen some of them before. We've been able to uh, use that derive derive uh, annotation to do like uh, debug, clone, copy, uh, partial, eek, and so on. And uh, these are all traits. And so you can look at uh, partial eek. Let's just look at the uh, documentation, and you can see. Uh, you know, it's about, uh, it gives you the power to do this, uh, you know, equals and not equals and, uh, and, uh, and it gives these, uh, these little methods here. So provided methods and so on. And, um, so that is how you, uh, derive a, uh, you know, use attributes to derive traits, but, uh, unfortunately you can't do them for all of, for, uh, for everything, for every, uh, trait. And uh, I'll show you an example of, uh, of one that you can't. Actually, most of them you can't, except for the, uh, you know, the very common ones. So let's, uh, let's imagine a struct called things to add. So we have a uh, first thing, and it's a U32, and second thing, and it's uh, an F32. So let's say we want to, uh, I don't let my thing, equals things to add and then first thing we want it to be a seven and second thing we want it to be a 7.8 and we want to add it together so you know how about we try this this is not going to work you know cannot find derive macro add well how about Standard, I think standard CMP add. Is that where it is? Ops add, that's what it was. Ops add. And this as well is not going to work. There you go. Can't even find it. So, uh, you know, this is not going to work. And it makes sense because uh, if you look at the, uh, you probably already understood why it's not going to work, but because we have an I32 here, we have an F32 here. And, um, you know, Rust doesn't know what we want to do. Do we want to uh, change this to an F32 and add them together? So do we want like uh, 7 plus 7.8 equals 14.8? Uh, or do you want it to say, you know, turn it into a uh, an integer and round it down 14? Or do you want it to turn it into a string? You know, you could have 7 plus 7.8 turn into this or that or any anything else. So you have to uh, tell Rust, you know, exactly how to do it. And so these ones you have to, uh, you know, this one we're not going to implement yet, but you would have to uh, standard ops add four things to add. And it looks like an implementation, like an implementation block for, uh, for a regular struct except for it's for a, uh, a trait. And so to, uh, so that is basically what a trait is. And uh, we're going to make a very small one to uh, just so we can, you know, implement our first one and kind of get used to it. So imagine we have a struct and it's an animal and it's got a name and it's a string. And then, uh, you know, we want our animals to have certain traits. So let's give it a trait. And by the way, traits are usually verbs or, you know, adjectives. So it's kind of saying what kind of thing this is, what can it do? So that's why you can see like add, debug, copy, clone. These are all verbs, uh, usually verbs. But um, so let's say, uh, in the book, I have dog, but uh, let's call it canine this time, which is like an adjective for dog. 
So this uh, this trait will uh, make the uh, the struct into a canine. It gives it like uh, abilities to bark, for example. So let's say we have this function bark, and uh, it will say print line woof woof. So that's what that does. And then uh, what else can dogs do? If you are a canine, you can run. And so we will just write uh, the dog is running. There we go. And then, you know, how do we give, uh, so we have these two functions and um, they're super simple functions. They don't need, uh, they're not adding, they're not doing anything that requires us to tell tell, uh, tell it what type it is. So it's very easy to implement. We say implement dog or not dog, canine, canine for animal. There we go. Then we put these uh, these uh, curly brackets here, and we are done. And then we say let rover equals animal. And what is rover's name? Well, it's uh, rover, and it's a string. So two string. And then we can say rover bark rover dot bark, and then rover dot run. And then we do that, and we can see uh, it'll print. Let's see, do, 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 over to string. Whoops, that should not be a semicolon. It's either nothing or a comma. Either one is fine. And semicolon must be there because it is a let. And there we go. So now we have uh, we have magically given our animal two two functions. And then, uh, so now imagine uh, you, uh, you know, maybe maybe this uh, this animal you don't want it to always say uh, the dog is running. Maybe you want it to say the dog is running fast. So can you implement your own run function? And the answer is yes, um, but you're limited to some things. You're limited to the same. Uh, signature so it must take the same thing must take uh, the same thing and return the same thing and if you uh, if you follow that then you're free to do whatever you want so you can say actually let's put a number in there let's my number equals five and we can say dog number something is running and then my number and so we are kind of uh, writing over this uh, this existing run function that uh, that's in the trait canine and we're only doing that for animal which is our struct up here so when we do this it'll say dog number five is running so that's fine um, so you can rewrite it like that but this uh, this is not okay if you want to return my number it's going to complain so there you go. I uh, expected this. I uh, expected the uh, the empty tuple found an integer. So uh, that is uh, basically what a uh, what a trait is like. That's like the most simple trait. So it's uh, you know it's giving giving powers to uh, to your structs or to your enums, and uh, you have some. Uh, it usually involves all of these uh, all of these functions, and you get them for free. Uh, sometimes we're going to look at this later. You can just specify run self, and uh, and that's it. And you this means um, I'm going to comment this out. And you can do this if you're writing a trait as well. And that means uh, this uh, this trait has this uh, this function. Uh, it has a uh, a name. Uh, you know, self goes in nothing comes out and when you implement this you have to write it yourself so if you uh, if you don't do that then it's going to complain because uh, you know all it has is the uh, you know the signature here but you didn't actually uh, write the function and so that is quite a bit of uh, new stuff we learned and there's a lot more but that is uh, basically uh, you know the, the most basic introduction to traits. Oh, and by the way, before I uh, before I stop this, this is a this is a really good video. If you want to uh, 
you know, if you're starting to learn traits and uh, they're kind of confusing, it's uh, I'm going to put this in the description here, and it's uh, <clears throat> the uh, she uses uh, you know role playing games to describe how traits work. So uh, constitution bonus, or like if you're a magician, you get these powers with a with a trait, and it's uh, it's a really good video. So I'm going to put the URL inside there.